welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all okay. Yes, the steam's actually appearing on this vlog. I think it's the first time you've been on my channel, isn't it? I'm having a life with Cheryl today. <laughs> yeah, life with me, Cheryl today. Yeah, so um, with it being Christmas coming up, and also I get not so much on here, but I also get lots of comments on Instagram and our main page as well. What's we'll say our main YouTube channel, which is obviously the Seamus and Gretch family. So, um, yes, yeah, so I get lots and lots of comments about sensory toys and the best places to go for them and stuff. So, I thought while Christmas coming up, we'll see what we can actually get on the high street, didn't we? Yeah. So, first of all, we're going to pop into the range. I do want to see what Christmas stuff they've got. And I do, I do believe the one in Banbury sells toys as well, doesn't it? Yep. So, with well, this one being the two floor, this one might. So, we'll see what we can find from here. Okay, it's up to 50% off. Okay, that's good, isn't it? So, come and join us for uh, a shopping trip. Here okay, we're seeing what you can use for sensory toys in the range, like these little stacker bricky cup things, couldn't we? They're actually £9.99. It's got three years plus on it, but they should be fine. And also these little beady coaster things. Ben absolutely loves these. Um, that one these we've actually gone through as well. And even like sticker brick. They're not they're called sticker brick, no, they're called hay shop blocks now. Again, they're quite good, aren't they? Because they can actually put those in your mouth still. Some else finds the same with children's special needs. Ben tends to still put things in his mouth. But yes, be careful with small pieces and stuff, don't we? Mm. Obviously, you've got like the little pull on train. Again, I suppose that's good for a sensory as well. You can put it along, you can stack it all up. It depends what sort of sensory things you're also into as well, because Ben loves the lights. These little fidget toys feels like something like this. But if I, if I show you what I mean, because of the small pieces, he'll put that in his mouth, it's no good for him. But these are a good idea, actually, these things are. These little tumble and fall things, because Ben will actually enjoy watching that come down. And even these little ball things, he's got one of these, and he actually tends to rattle it, he likes the sound it makes. And also something like this, with the piano. Well, they can do that sort of thing to them as well. And also the play balls have been the big favourite in our house, well, haven't they? Mm. Ben used to have his ball pit and used to love doing that. He used to um, get, we'd get the big massive swimming pool out for him. And he used to put them in there. If you want that, get one of them because like he does actually. Yeah, they're pretty good as well, aren't they? Um, any problem is be careful yeah. the maracas, he might put them in his mouth yeah. because it's only wooden, but yeah, he'll definitely, no, he'll there's definitely a case. enjoy. There's a case in oh, that's the point, he might put them in his mouth, yeah. that's the problem. And also, what's this thing? Little jigs again, jigsaw puzzles, you can't do that, he puts them in his mouth. But Play Doh's quite good for a sensory thing as well. Yes, yeah, so I can't get too close to see because you see they're still putting all the toys and stuff out. But yeah, look, all that sort of a good for a sensory thing, isn't it? But again, if you put if you've got a child that puts them in your mouth, then definitely it's a no no. Well, also these are quite good for sensory as well, especially if a child likes to turn things up and spin them round. Then we'll actually turn those round and round one of those. Yeah. And obviously the ball flashing balls. Again, we these are these are actually a sensory toy. You can see that these ones that each got a different texture on the balls. Not too quite sure how much they are. Then we've got a price on that's something Ben would really enjoy with. And even these things here, these are little squishy things, but yeah, so that's something Ben would enjoy with the squeezing. But again, he puts that in his mouth, he'll probably end up popping. So with these things, these are quite good. Um, we've got two colour change and two water bags and two texture ones. Ben will put them in his mouth and he'll just simply just pop them on. I've also got here, so you can see there's quite a lot of things around here actually. It really, really is. These are also good as well. You've got the touch and feely puzzle because Ben loves picking tips and things up. The only problem is again, he'll put these in his mouth so every note won't be good for him. And even these are pretty good as well. Obviously, you have to match the shapes and things, and they're quite good for sensory. You'll have to excuse Father Christmas. Yeah, so if your child doesn't put things in your mouth, um, Play Doh is really, really good sensory because obviously squeezing the, like the sensory, squeezing like the Play Doh in your hands is quite it's good for strengthening the hand muscles as well. Seems and fine, yeah, and also up there you've got some craft as well. They're pretty good. Again, for sensory, obviously you have the glitter, the glue, and things like that. But again, if your child puts things in his mouth, then they're not ideal either really. Got the squishy dough up there as well. 
Also, this is really, really essential. You can make your own glitter, um, glitter lava lamp. Obviously, you need to be supervised for that, but yeah, that's really a thing to do as well. I think that's it actually in here in the range. So that's it being them. And Smith's of the day is in Smith's. As you can see, this is a big, massive one. Here it really is. I guarantee you there's loads and loads of things in here which would be ideal for century issues and stuff as well. So, yeah. Um, lots of books and stuff. I know books can be quite century as well, and all these little things down here. Thomas could be quite century, obviously, because of the movement as well. And games can be. But, yeah. That's quite interesting in here, actually. Oh, Reva, he actually didn't realise these can be pretty century, these little ones down here. I know, obviously... I know it says for six to 36 months, but again, these would be ideal. For, you can just put these on the floor, obviously they make noise. These little table things as well. They've got one in white and one in pink as well. And even these things here, look, these look really quite cute. And then one of these little VTEC things over here. The kids had loads and loads of VTEC toys when they were younger. Believe it or not, it's one of these little things here, these first steps baby walkers. That's what actually Sammy learned to walk with. He didn't like the normal baby walkers, he went straight for, for one of these. So yeah, another thing could be for century is obviously these centos, these pens really do smell what they are. I've got some and they do really smell what they are. Not bad actually for £20 for that one, but that actually got over 200 pieces. £12.99 is that one, the felt tip pens. And this one's actually 9 99 but it's actually on three for the price of two as well. Yeah, they've also got some pencils there and even got some like the drawing things. These glow pad things are a pretty cool idea as well. Obviously, like you draw on them, but we got one for Ben. He wasn't really interested at all. So, yeah, they're pretty cool ideas they are. And even that one there is as well because you see this game here actually flashes. It's like a bop it type thing, isn't it? That's what that is. Yeah, also if you've got like little girls, you've got the scented jewellery as well, and also the sparkly one here. And even like all the loom bands, they can be as well, like the threading and obviously the slime, that is really, really sensory, and that's actually scented as well. I'm not too quite sure what you've got on there, the Galaxy, got Square Fruity, what's that smelly collection? So yeah, and that's only £19.99. Obviously, all these are really are century. Everything down here. We've got Super Slime Combination Studio. That's twenty-five pounds. We've got some mystery egg slime things down here, and even these are as well. You can, put, from what I can gather, I think you put these in the bath as well. We've got the ultimate bucket fun. Again, twenty pound, but on three for the price of two. So yes, you've got all the kinetic sands and stuff. That is really, really sensory. Again, Ben loves to pick it up and pull it through his fingers. Got some coloured sand here. That's pretty cool. That's only twelve ninety nine. And then obviously got your play day there as well. I said don't want to move their their truck thing, whatever it is. And this is pretty cool. This is magic sand. The four in one's fourteen pound ninety nine, and it said it never dries out. Again, aqua bees are pretty good as well. And I do like this sand day. Oh well. That's pretty good. You can actually make it and you can actually repaint it. And obviously all these are quite as well. You've got the bath bomb kits. You've got make your own bath bombs. Your lava lamps. So yes, I mean, you've even I've said there's loads and loads of things here. Also a few toys here. I've got like the play and learn. Obviously where you put like your little letters, shapes back into there. And also like a little busy, it's called the latches board. But it's like technically like a little busy board. That was actually reduced to 20 pounds. Yeah, they've got the sort they like. I suppose they're a good idea as well. And then, what's they've got here? Big puzzle here. Got more puzzles here. These ones are all got quite as a bigger thing on them as well. And these, and even like the sound books, they're pretty cool as well for them. Yeah, so a new Smith would be ideal for the century toys. And we've got a little take on little toy bar thingy. I know it's again it's face touch. It's like the car seat or something like that but there'll be things to do. Steve has to demonstrate one of the little things. <laughs> that's like that's twenty pounds. Mm. Something obviously I suppose you just press the button mm. and do something like that. Obviously like little rattles, they're always a big favourite in our house. And then you think with wheels that like, he can turn and spin. 
or something like that. Obviously, you, what you're doing is you put your balls in through your hole and it comes out down the bottom end. And that one's actually 20, 42 pounds, that one is. So you've got Spike the Hedgehog, he's a rainbow stacker type thing. I know we can get bent on the, the cups, sucker cups, but not with those ones. Oh yeah, the little chairs. So yeah, and even all these are quite sensory motivating. So I see you have to do something. Even this one is, it's... Yes, yeah, so you've got like all the storybook things. These are quite sensory. Those are, and then obviously you've got like these little, the stacker cups. They are always do really, really wear telephones. And you've even got like a little controller here. The, the corner me puppy so yeah there's loads and loads of things out there it's just trying to match what your child actually likes as well because obviously we know ben likes anything with wheels and likes up and spins like the toot toots they're still a big massive favorite in our house as well and even all the cars and all these here we go that is something oh wow i think we might actually get that for ben for his for christmas or his birthday actually that is definitely something he would really enjoy all the blocks these different things here the as well section on here i've everything to do with sensory like fidget toys got some jokes and gag things got some mini squishes here which is actually six pound and we've also got some of these big mega fidget popper things these are only four pound i've got these big ones here for five pound here got some of these little toy mania little things here but they're quite soft aren't they put them in his mouth got some of these little ones here as well they're only two pound What's this little sensory on there? Ben put that in his mouth when they had any problem. Got some of these little water things as well. Yeah, they've got a whole load of these little ball pop up dice things there. $3.99. And one of these little um, motion bulbler things. Are only, these are only £5. If I pick them up, I should show you what they do. Well, they're like the ones he's had at home, but they broke, didn't they? And what are these? Great, listen. Great recording this and these little recorder cube things. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Those things are. I wonder if Ben would like these, but then I am worried about them putting them in his mouth because you don't know what they're actually like. And also, these are pretty good things. They give your kids are responsible for money and stuff, like a little bag. You can like a little purse, and you can put like little poppet things on there. They're only, I haven't got a price on them, $4.99. And then finally, we've got all these century toy boxes here. I'm not too well. We want to get one for Ben, but we don't really know what's in them, do we? It's not sure if you can actually see. Obviously, they're quite small, but yeah, they're quite some really good things. And they're really impressed, actually, all those things. Oh yeah, you also got teddy bears. They're quite soft and sensory and stuff, though, aren't they? So yes, yeah, so I think that is it. Actually, um, I want to say thanks for watching this video. Don't forget like, comment, and subscribe, and then I'll see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.